Hello, everybody. Peter Rennert here, creator of Telos Tennis. That's T E L O S, Telos, or as some people pronounce it, Telos. And it is an awareness based learning system. And this week, through the lens of Telos, we are going to take a look at how targeting leads to strategy. Before I start, I want to just give you a quick review of the last couple of weeks. First up, right here you can see zones one, two, and three. That's from my video Targeting Under Pressure, released a couple of weeks ago. Then next, zones A, B, C, and D, Targeting Under Pressure, part two. And now this week, a combination of zones one, two, and three, and zones A, B, C, and D. That's north and south, that's east and west. And one new thing you might notice this week is that this 18 inches from the sideline in D and from the sideline in A, that's all zone three. The least safe amount of shot, close to the line, close to the line, and close to the line. All right, let's dig into this week's information. Okay, so I can imagine when you're looking at the court now and you see all these letters and numbers, it might be a little confusing. But the truth is, you will be able to see this really clearly. It's very easy to know. If I said zone A, you would know, and I'm going to get it here so you can see it. If I said zone A, you know in the deuce court, that's zone A. That's zone B. In the ad court, C. In the ad court, D. You know that. Okay? And then you know from the serv service line to the net, all of that is zone 1. You know all of this is zone two, and then you know this little area is zone three. You can see it on the, this side of the court, plain as day. The big question for you is, how is this going to help you raise the level of your game? How is this going to help you have breakthroughs every time you play? And the answer is simple. Awareness is the key to everything. Observation without judgment is the key to awareness. You need to be able to see these zones. You need to be able to know what zone you're hitting in and what zone your opponent is hitting in. And once you become aware of that, then you can make choices strategically that will help you win points. Let me give you a few examples. First off, on this side of the court, if you look at the match between in 2013 finals of the US Open Serena versus Wozniacki you only have to go you know google long long rallies in tennis men's and women's tennis it'll take you to YouTube there's a million videos of long rallies watch the videos to train your eye to become more aware but I'm picking out the one point I'm talking about because it, it was the single best point I've ever seen that helped me understand what it means to control the center of the court. Serena moved from about here to here. And she just hit balls, safe balls, 2D to 2A. And then 2D to 2A. And Wozniacki ran from here to here to here and Serena ran from here to here. She was controlling the center of the court with safe shots. I thought she's a big hitter. She hits close to the lines. You look at her balls. If a ball lands here, that's six feet or so inside the baseline. That's four to five feet inside the sideline. That's a safe shot. Same here, but run, 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 run. That's what Mosiaki did. Okay, so that's one example. Okay, so the next example I want to tell you about is just patterns of play, strategic patterns of play. You may have heard of a 2-1 pattern. A lot of pros use it. But if you look at it, if I'm standing here, a lot of the rallies, when you look at the long, long rallies, they're just going to be going. Oh, I, I took that off. Let me pull it up for you again. All right. They're just going to be going cross-court from C to C. Remember, this is the ad court, so that's C and that's D. Or they're going to just be going from B to B. Zone 2, cross-court rally. 
And then you'll watch as one player tries to stretch the court a little, they'll take it out there and see what that does. And then if they can really get a kind of a safe shot that gets out to here, or maybe if they get a little better of an angle and they get it here, because think about it, if this ball lands here, by the time it gets out here, it's out here. And if I'm a player and I have to run all the way out there to hit the ball, you can then, uh, no matter where my reply is, drive it over here into the open court. So the 2-1 is I'm going here, then I'm getting out to here, and if I make that successfully, I'm driving here, or vice versa. It's a good way to win a point. You need to be aware of where your ball lands. And remember, in this awareness, if you hit a ball that you think is going out and it lands in zone 3, do you hold your breath? If your opponent hits a ball in zone 3, do you hold your breath? If when you get a short ball up here and you're running full speed to get to that ball, when you get there, do you hold your breath? All good information to know. Your strategy is going to be based on where your ball lands. And then you'll begin to be able to see other things. There's so much going on on a tennis court that it's hard to see. That's why I'm asking you to do only one thing. Look at long rallies, whether you're watching the Olympics or you're watching a pro tournament or you're watching any pro players, or you're watching a match at your club, or you're watching a USTA league match, I want you to look at where the balls are landing. What zones? And I want you to get really good at being able to say, oh, that was a 1B. That was 2B. Oh, that was 3B. Oh, that was 2D. What zone is it landing in? North, south, and east, west. The better you get at that, the quicker you're going to raise the level of your game. Okay. That's it. That's how targeting leads to strategy. Now, the last piece is simply, how do you practice targeting? I think you can create a million ways on your own to see how effective you are at targeting. Just have someone feed you a ball and see how many in a row, out of 10, how many you can hit in zone one, how many you can hit in zone two, or A, or B, or C, or D. That's one way. If you really want to learn how to practice it, check out my curriculums at telostennis.com online. You can see the curriculum for players or for coaches. There's lots of exercises on how you can improve targeting through awareness. Okay, YouTube, that's it for this week. Hopefully you will take targeting and raise your level of awareness so that you know what zone every ball lands in. Then take it on the court, raise the level of your game, have breakthroughs every time you play. If you like this video, hit like. If you want more videos, subscribe. If you want to know when I'm releasing, ring the notification bell. And until my next release, enjoy the day, enjoy the adventure, enjoy your tennis. This is Peter Rennert for Telos Tennis, signing out.